We're going to talk about determining if the given relation is a function or not. First, how do we determine if the given set of ordered pairs describes a function or not? So, to determine if the given set describes a function, you just simply take a look at the x value or what we call the x coordinate of its ordered pairs. Remember that in any ordered pair, we have what we call x and y coordinate. So just take a look at the x coordinate or the x value. So here's the rule. If no two ordered pairs have the same x value, then the given set describes a function. Okay, let, let us observe from this given sets of ordered pairs. Let's have set A. So we have here 2, 1, 3, 2, 4, 3, 5, 4, and 6, 5. So here, the x values are, so in set A, we have 2, then we have 3, we have 4, then 5, 6. So we don't have the same x value. Therefore, set A describes a function. How about set B? The x values are 1, we have 2, then 2, 3, then we have 3. So in set B, we have here 2 being repeated. Also, 3 repeats. Therefore, set B is not a function. Let's have set C. The x values are 3, we have 4, we have 5, 6, and we have 7. So here, we don't have repeated x value. Therefore, set C describes also a function. Okay, second, how do we determine if the given mapping diagram represents a function or not? So here, given a diagram, we can say that it represents a function if there is what we call a one-to-one -one correspondence or a many-to-one correspondence, but not a one too many correspondents. Again, a diagram will represent a function if there is a one-to-one -one correspondence or many-to-one correspondence, but not a one-to-many correspondence. Okay, so given two sets x and y, its element in x should only correspond to only one element in y. Again, its element in x should only correspond to exactly one element in y. So let's have figure number one. If you'll notice, its element in x corresponds to exactly one element in y. Say, 1 to negative 1, 2 to negative 2, 3 to negative 3, 4 to negative 4, and 5 to negative 5. So we have what we call a 1 to 1 correspondence. Therefore, figure 1 represents a function. How about figure number 2? So here we have a 
many to one correspondence such as 1 and 2 in x correspond to exactly one element in y which is negative 1. Also, we have 4 and 5 to negative 5. Still, we have one element in x that corresponds to only one element in y. Therefore, figure 2 also represents a function. How about figure number 3? So here we have a 1 to many correspondence where an element in x corresponds to two elements in y, such as 1 in x corresponds to negative 1 and negative 2 in y. Therefore, figure 3 does not represent a function because it, it violates the rule that each element in X corresponds to exactly one element in Y.